Hi, welcome to Laura's View and Tarot 2. I am really glad you're here. Today's date is Saturday, September 30th, 2023. Well, October is supposed to be a momentous month. <laughs> and I'm not so sure that I'll be doing anything but uh, political-based reads in October, if that ends up being the case that it's an event-filled month. <laughs> so while it's still September, I'd like to address um, a video topic that was sent to me by one of my subscribers. Uh, it was shared with me via the Buy Me a Coffee site. And I would just like to say that while I appreciate that they submitted a question with a gift, if you have a tarot topic you would like me to look at, there's no guarantees that I will, whether you include it with a gift or not, but you don't have to. I am not a PAY patriot. So uh, my email address for the channel is listed in the about section of YouTube, and you're welcome to email me. I will, as always, assure you that I do read every email I get. I don't respond to all of them. The volume is just too great for me to do so. And sometimes I get a, uh, a really good idea from people on something to read. Sometimes I get a great idea, but it's just doesn't work itself into the schedule. So don't think if I don't address it, that it's a rejection because that's not the case. It's just that I am one tarot reader <laughs> and there's a limited number of videos I can put out and keep the rest of my life going. So uh, let's talk about this topic that was given to me. I, a uh, fellow human asked me if I would do a read about how people are chosen. This would be more the celebrities, um, notable people, people in the public eye, entertainers or beloved public figures who end up in witness protection, that gone with the wind program. We hear that there are hundreds who have gone into that program and they would like to know how that came to be, what was involved with that. And I thought, hey, let's ask the cards, okay? What, if the cards wish to tell us as much detail as possible, I'm ready to find out, aren't you? Because it would be interesting to find out how people are chosen to be approached and offered a chance to completely change your life, go into a uh, witness protection and be uh, available at a later date to help mankind. So let's see what the cards want us to know about that process and how the selections occur. So with that, I'm going to change the camera and we will see what the universe wants us to know. We'll find out together. One second. So we're asking for insights and information about how the people, celebrities and notable public figures are chosen um, because they must have some assurance that they truly are white hearts to the core. And uh, we'd like information about how that process occurs, that they're approached and given a chance to uh, get out of a situation that probably seems a little hopeless, like join or, or else. <laughs> so Okay, definitely White Hat Alliance are kind of, uh, this is their thing. We got the King of Swords, then the Five of Swords, the Three of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, the Hermit, wow, Six of Swords, and then the three of hearts. Okay, I'm going to, as usual, tell you what I'm seeing in the cards. Then we'll look at elements that led me to make the statements I did. So first of all, as soon as I saw this card, I said, this is a white hat alliance type of operation. Absolutely. The um, When they are offered witness protection, it is not intended to be permanent. They are intended to rejoin the public at a later date even if they choose to make that joining to be not permanent, 
I know I, I read about one celebrity that, um, and there's no video on this that's out there, so don't go looking for it. But I, I did get that he was in the pro program, but he was actually kind of weary of being taken advantage of and would only appear for a short time and kind of fulfill an obligation. And uh, then again, go back into a very private type of life, which he was more than welcome to do. So the vetting process, this is interesting. They have actually some access to technology, the looking glass type of technology, quantum computers. They can actually, they being the white hats, can look ahead and get a measure of the woman or man based on what their actions are going to be going ahead. And uh, so the, the vetting process is they're based on their actions. Actions they have yet to make, but can be projected absolutely to be making them. So there we have it as far as how the vetting goes. So um, on the one hand, to be in this program, you have to be in the public eye. Once you're in the public eye, there are some people who are in the public eye who don't go to the dark side, who don't sell their soul, who don't make, you know, <laughs> deals with the devil that don't go into this program. But they select of those that do, people that have high visibility, that would be instantly loved and trusted. I'm thinking like of Princess Diane at this case. Now she didn't have to necessarily be looked ahead with the quantum computer unless they were just seeing at one point did she need to leave the the perceived timeline to for her to be safe and uh, um, extracted in a timely fashion. So the um, the whole process looking ahead is kind of overseen again by use of quantum technology that to us is going to seem almost mystical uh, as far as it works. And then, and the purpose of that is to take these people from a spot where they're in danger of uh, being harmed for not fully uh, committing themselves to the dark side. And then the three of swords indicates that there is a false story put out about their passing. And uh, they may, if they don't pass, sometimes they're played by a devil, but uh, that's how they leave the public eye. So let's get a couple more cards for uh, some information on this and see what's going on. Strength, beautiful, and the two of wands. We have the three of wands and the two of wands. Now, both of those cards often indicate a new path and one that you've got a clear vision of and you're setting out in a new way. I personally, think that part of where this gone with the winds is is into lands and places that aren't available to us by any kind of traditional travel means that we use right now. Now, I'm not going to say that it's not another dimension or it's beyond an ice wall, but I think those are two very viable possibilities that uh, that our earth is maybe a lot bigger than we're, we were taught it was. And definitely, we already know that uh, reality is much bigger than we were told it was. So, uh, yeah, that's that's how it, that's how they're chosen. It's based on their um, their value and uh, their belovedness, and the fact that they uh, would be in mortal danger if they remained on the life plane or seemed to. And so that's how the chosen there are with uh, some technology that we don't have at our hands, but the white hats do. And based on their actions and words, and then looking ahead to see, are they in danger? Would they, are there, do their hearts remain pure? And would they be willing? So let's recap. Bell Human asked me, how do the white hats know who to put into the witness protection, gone with the wind type of program. How are they chosen? How do they make sure that their hearts are pure, that they are a good candidate for that kind of protection and program? And um, so we asked the cards. The answer we got was, it's definitely a white hat type of operation. Definitely, absolutely. The vetting 
includes the use of some technologies and um, information that would seem almost mystical to us at this point from what we have. But again, quantum type computers, looking glass technology, something like that, they can look ahead and see. And then basically, again, because we are our actions, not our words, they can look at actions and see both the danger towards someone and how they would respond to it. And if their hearts really are pure based on their actions, looking ahead. The, uh, the program <laughs> has been a success. It will be rolled out. <laughs> As our world goes through some changes that are really going to be astounding and people realize, again, that our reality is much bigger than we were led to believe, that our world was much bigger than we were led to believe, these people can come back and be a comfort and just say, hey, look, this is what happened and it benefited me. I'm here to help you. Let's do this together. Kind of a neat type of situation looking ahead. So that's what the cards told me. Is it the complete answer? I don't know. I just know that we were told it's a white hat operation, that it's uh, um, done with the use of some technologies that aren't available to us. And again, they can uh, see because our actions kind of ultimately do reflect what's in our heart. That's it for this video. I thank you so much for your time and attention and uh, your willingness to think outside the box and explore some, some concepts that um, maybe a few years ago you weren't ready to explore. As always, use your discernment. If anything I've said in this video doesn't strike you as something you're ready to believe or you think I've gotten it wrong, trust your discernment, okay? Because ultimately, that's the skill set that we individually have to, em to embrace and elaborate on. So, I have no doubt that at some point, even if you reject everything I put in this video, at some point there's elements of it that will resonate with you, that will ring true. And you go, hmm, she might've been onto something, or I think there was something to that. I don't buy it all, but I, I think there was something to it. Because that's part of our journey is to build our skills of discernment and manifestation, and especially to know when we have the power to consent or not consent to something personally, I don't consent to anything that confounds or confuses me or befuddles me, okay? Yes, I'm on a search for truth, absolutely. And yes, that search isn't perfect because I'm not, but it continues. <laughs> so until next time, and next time will be the uh, eventful month of October. I wish you love and light and all things bright. Bye.